your question, Lori Lewicki, here's what you asked. If you're talking about the Jubilee. Is that going to go ahead? And will the Commonwealth be better afterwards? Let's see. So that's what the video will be about. I hope you like the video. If you do like it, please do like it. If you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. Now, to be fair, uh, viewer Lori Lewicki asked this question before things kind of got resolved with the Queen not feeling so well. But uh, let's just ask the question anyway. Will the Jubilee uh, go ahead? Is there anything that's going to stop that? I mean, there's a lot going on in the world right now. Um, will the British Commonwealth unite around the royal British uh, monarchy? The Commonwealth. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so we're going to see how this works out for a viewer, Lori Lewicki. Her question is, will the Jubilee go ahead and um, will the British Commonwealth unite around the royal, the, the British uh, monarchy and the royals? So will the Jubilee go ahead? I think that's a fair question to ask. I mean, it seems like everything's fine now. And this is almost a little gruesome. It's almost the only reason that wouldn't happen is if there was some uh, uh, tragedy to make it not happen. So, but uh, that's uh, Lauren Lewicki. Thank you for the question and for all your help recently. Um, so, um, will the Jubilee go ahead and will the British Commonwealth uh, unite uh, around the British royal monarchy? But first, let's just have a moment of meditation. Okay, that's all it takes really. Just get focused. I do a long meditation before I start. So the um, the Jubilee. This will be a full tilt across. The first part devoted to the Jubilee, and the second part will the British monarchy uh, unite around the royals. So we'll do six cards first, and then the last four we'll pull them later. So uh, is the Jubilee going to hit? That's what we want to know. Six cards. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four, five, and six. So that's there. Now we'll just swap places with these. So the signifier card. Will the Jubilee go ahead? Thanks, Lori. Um, okay, so this is the Hangman. Well, okay, so it's uh, it can still be up in the air. It depends on how you look at it. The Hangman is literally that. It's a major icon. It's uh, it's. Uh, number 12 uh, along the journey so it's pretty far along and it looks like uh, there could be a little hang up there could be maybe we'd look at, need to look at it in another way it could be that uh, they're, they're going to reconsider uh, how it um how, how the um, jubilee looks it is a tragic time as a matter of fact for for this to be happening uh, while there's a war going on the uh, challenge to that then is the Ten of Wands. Oh, yeah. So, well, this is speaks to more of a personal burden. So the Wands are actions, plans, um, uh, usually forward movement. And this is forward movement. We see that this uh, fellow here, he's just really, um, really borne down with all of these plans, all of this. I mean, this fellow's weary. He's old. He's tired. But, you know, it looks to me like he's going to get back up and keep on going. And he can always come back and get him one at a time unless he doesn't last that long. So the challenge to, uh, the, is the Jubilee going to go on? Well, maybe it just needs to be looked at in a different way. And the challenge is all the plans and the weary uh, job that this fellow has and, and how troubled he is. The base of this reading, then, is this uh, page of wands. You know, the page, I always tell you, is the least uh, powerful of the in the royal suite. And wands are actions, plans, forward movement. And we can see that this page, so he would be the guy to say, oh, I've been, I brought you this, uh, all you royal folks, and so make a decision about this. But uh, we can see he looks very confident, and uh, you would think, uh, if, you know, if this fellow is bringing you a message, you think, well, yeah, let's take a look at that. So the base of this is the idea uh, that uh, perhaps uh, they need to be looked at in a different way. The uh, the Jubilee. The past of this reading is, of course, this, the Two of Cups. And, of course, these are partnerships. These are friendship. These are perfect pairings. Um, this is love. And uh, this is uh, the relationship between the monarchy and uh, the majority of the subjects of the monarchy. I think that's correct. The uh, sky of this reading, then, is the Empress. Of course, it is talking about the monarchy. That's very clear. 
and then the uh, and so we're into the jubilee. What happened? Final outcome for this uh, is the seven of cups, um, which is uh, illusion and delusion. So yeah, I think there's a lot of ways that this can happen. It's beautiful that this uh, features this kind of very royal looking uh, structure in the background, and, um, and and all these cups hovering over that uh, uh, little lake of compassion with a super rainbow right there. So yeah, that's a beautiful uh, message. And so yeah, the jubilee I think is fine, but. Um, Will, and my laptop wants to go off, will the um, Commonwealth unite around the royals? Um, you know, and that's the Commonwealth. That's all the countries, okay? Will there be some strong um, uh, feeling uh, for the, uh, do they still call it the realm, in the realm? So, four cards for that. The self of that question is, will the realm be happy with what's going on? Let's try that. Um, this is going to be the Nine of Cups. Well, this is uh, wishes being fulfilled. Uh, cups are, again, like I tell you, always emotion and compassion and happy, happiness. And the Nine of Cups is really uh, sometimes referred to as the greedy merchant. You know, but this is a fellow who's he's proud to show you all the cups of wine he's had today. And uh, he still looks fine and like somebody you'd like to come up and have a, uh, a drink with. So the signifier of, of uh, will... Um, the realm uh, feel more uh, toward the monarchy from this jubilee? And the answer is yes, it will. And uh, the um, environment that that's in then, oh, is the star. Yeah, it's a, it's a hopeful environment. It's a, a shining uh, environment. And yeah, this is um, a, a, the jewel in each um, commonwealth's crown. The hopes and the fears for that uh, are, uh, well, yeah, the two of coins is a balancing act. And here we go. I mean, the monarchy is... Um, this uh, clown, this fool, is uh, on this tight wire trying to balance the value back and forth. And uh, the monarchy is, uh, in modern age, an act uh, for their subjects to look at and somehow still be uh, proud of. It's a very interesting uh, uh, balance, uh, as it shows in this card. So that's that. And then the likely outcome of the whole thing as to whether the realm... Ah, because look at the, the devil uh, being tied to lesser intention. So it depends on the, um, the reason behind uh, the monarch. Okay? I feel like uh, Queen Elizabeth has been a, a, a noble uh, monarch. And, and wanted what's best for the monarchy. And the, will the new king have that same um, uh, feeling around him? Or will there be some feeling of lesser intention of wanting that attention for himself or his family perhaps? I don't know. But yeah, so the likely outcome of that is there's a, a good dose of lesser intention there. So, interesting. Well, the cards say what the cards say. I try just to read the meaning of the card and try to fit it into a narrative. And hopefully it's not too biased. I hope it's not biased at all, but let's be fair. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on. Oh, say so, so. This is a Grand, or Tarot Grand Lux. Tarot Grand Lux, another Cairo Marchetti uh, deck. This guy is just a machine putting out these cards, but they come in a great box and uh, they've got a really useful uh, guidebook as far as the divination is concerned. It's easy to read and it's, you know, handheld and, you know, it's just another of Cairo Marchetti's version of uh, tarot cards, which all seem to be pretty cool. Um, they're easy to use and they've got a nice kind of a matte finish that doesn't slide out of your hands too easily. And uh, so I do this so you get a chance to look at the cards and see how they are. Maybe you don't uh, buy a lot of cards or look at a lot of different cards, but if you watch my channel, you do. Haha. <laughs> so there we go. Good way to get to your energy all over the, all over them. And um, and so I don't know, I think that kind of makes for a better uh, read uh, when everything's all said and done. So here we go. These uh, Tarot Grand Lux. It's some funny thing that I always want to say Grand Lux Tarot. And um, I bet everybody does that. But anyway, we'll use these and get this going. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by, we'll do it again. Ciao for now. One, two, three. You really make a big difference. Thank you.